Hey guys, this is Madoba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to place window marker and door marker. Like one of the fastest ways to place it. So before I proceed, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now let's get started. So the first thing we do is, um, this is the plan we have on this layout, right? So there are different types of window, sizes of window and this plan. Okay. So we are going to, I'm going to select all the windows by selecting the window tool and then on our keyboard, you say control A, right? Now, as you can, you notice there is this, I used um empty uh, window for this arc so i'm going to remove it by selecting it okay i don't want it to be part of the windows i'll add markers to and i think i did something like this here also i did something here so after selecting the windows you go to window settings Turn on the marker and then you select you select the type of header marker header which is I often use this one okay and then let's see what we have As you can see how it looks okay so we are going to go back to the settings to adjust it to so change it to zero changes to zero and remove this extension line changes to zero now let's see okay this is quite big so you go to the next slide turn this off changes to element id Turn this off. That's okay. Then go back to the dimension. The text is quite big. Change it to 1.2. And this is quite big. You change it to 4. Okay. And the marker geometry. Let's fit this. Fit shape to text click this okay let's go back and see what our marker looks like now that's it right there and that's fine let's click okay all right so the marker it's on the window so we don't want it on the window i want it some somewhere around here i'll have to go and adjust them again this time around i'll turn on the flip okay and i have to put maybe one or one two here i'll reduce this to three let's see this at one then we click ok all right so i think it looks good now except make want to reduce it a bit but it's fine now as you can see we have different types of um window type window one window two and all that but we are not so sure if the marker is correct right so to be sure all we need to do we have to select them again make sure we select them again and deselect that those windows we have we deselect them i'll go to the settings and change the id to one i want everything to be one but i have to change it to two before i so that everything will change and go back and change it to one let me change it to two since it's it's all one already so i'll change it to now everything is all two i'll go back to change it to one so that everything will be all one i want it to start with that all one when we go to do the main thing now everything is all one but we have to go back we have to 
there's a settings I'm going to show you which would adjust all the windows to its um a proper tab. So we we'll go to document and list listing extra. We we'll go to listing extras. We we'll go to element ID manager, and then make sure this is selected. Set set same ID by criteria. Okay, and these are the criteria element by element id width and so if they have the same width and height they would it will create its own marker all right so we go to id format and this is the format which is w1 right you have w here and o1 here right and then we change id so that means we have um six different types of window here so window one we have six of it window window two we have seven of it window three we have one window four we have nine of it. window five we have eleven and window six we have um one of it so we're going to click okay okay so as you can see you know we started from one and it has edited itself so this is window one and i'm very sure this is another window one which is um 60 by nine 600 by 900 this is window one, which is 600 by 900. So any 600 by 900 will be window one. That's this right here, window one. And then the same thing, window two, the window 900 by 900, any 900 by 900 window will be window two, okay? The same thing here, one five like so so this is like the fastest way to create a window tag so let's do the door tag just select select door two here and press ctrl a on your keyboard okay and then when we turn on the tag turn on the tag yeah turn on the marker and then you, cho you choose the type of marker header you want i prefer to use this okay so let's say fit shape to text okay then put this to um let's use two like we did the other time and move this to zero you remove this as usual go to the next slide change this to element id Go to the next slide and check this. Go to the next slide and that's it. So we we'll go to the marker and we we'll change it to one, the size. We we'll go to dimension marker. We we'll change it to three. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we did. meant to be over so let's see if um it will take the shape but before that we have to remove this let's see if it will take the shape of the oval it's not taking the shape yet but let's say okay and see what we have okay now that's it right there so we have to adjust it so that it will be around here Okay, and this is supposed to be, let's say, minus, okay, or minus one. Minus one is fine, good. So we have to adjust the size. Let's say 1.5. Okay, and uh, let's increase this one a bit. Fit shape to text let's see what we have 
Okay, it has changed to the oval shape. Okay, so we might, we might have to reduce it a bit. Um, reduce this a bit. If you reduce it, the thing it starts it starts showing like like circle. If, start making it, it start, it start changing the shape, right? So when you reduce this, you have to reduce this at the same time. Okay, so I have to increase this a bit. Okay. Maybe 1.3 is okay. All right. So we have to go and change everything to zero, um, D01, right? D01 so that we can rearrange the markers. So I'm going to go back to the classification ID. It's on D01, but I wanted to, I will change it to D02 so that it will change and then go back to change it to D01. Okay. Now everything would should be D01. Okay, then we we'll go to our document listing extra extra element ID manager. The criteria are already there. They are there already. And this is for door. Okay. we have to element add the criteria add the width add the height these criteria are okay so we go to the id format change it to d okay that's what we are using d01 and that's fine make sure this is two to so that it would your 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 door would count the o the o one but if you make it one it will change to a one decimal number so you can just change it to one to be zero one you change it to two it will be two if you change it to three same you know that's if you have a lot of doors so i'm um, i'm gonna have to change it to one so that we have dot d one okay because my the type of door on this plan is not much so now in this case we have d uh, four types of doors which is quite correct because i'm very sure this is for the entrance and this for the one connected to the ante room and the remaining one is um just 900 and 750 doors so that's fine so we we'll say okay and it gives us a uh, door now the thing is that i i really love the overall shape so i might have to go back and change this to two and i have to change this to two so that it will give us the proper overall shape okay yeah fine as you can see So D4, 1, D3, 1, and the remaining one is uh, this one, D1, is 750. So any one you did that is D1 is 750 door. That this is 900, 900, 750, 900. So this is like the fastest way to place a marker based on the criteria of the door because sometimes you might be putting it one by one and you you might even forget some this is like the fastest way so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye bye